Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. I'm here today with some really wonderful subscriber mail that I've received. Um, it's been such a busy week. Some of this I've had for a little bit, I apologize. But um, I wanted to get to this and just say thank you to all you wonderful people who sent me these things. It's just so sweet of you to think of me. So this first one here, this one comes from Peggy. Um, Peggy's been a subscriber of mine for a long time. And um, she sent me this lovely little card that she'd made here for me. Um, hang on, just want to read one second. I like to read everything that everybody wrote to me because, you know, sometimes you don't want me to. Um, but she wanted to share some of these lovely napkins of hers with me. And that is just so sweet. And I've got to get back to my decoupage. These are absolutely wonderful. These match this piece of paper. Or did you put a napkin on this? I'm confused. This is really cool. Did you just copy this onto something? Or how did you do this? Or is this... I don't know. <laughs> but look at these napkins. These are so nice. It looks like maybe you made a copy of it. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. Look how pretty these are. These are absolutely gorgeous. And do you get like four of them on each napkin? Nope, two. That's fine. These are awesome. I am definitely going to have to use these for a DIY. Oh, I love these. I haven't seen these anywhere. And here's the really large ones, too. That's awesome. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And I love it when it comes with some little words on it, too, because a lot of times, you know, there's, they're just not words on there. Oh, that is so nice, Peggy. Thank you so much. I am definitely going to use those. I have a decoupage project coming up. I don't know if it's going to be this one or maybe another one I'll have to do. But those are awesome. I'm going to stick these right back in here. So I won't forget what to what by the time I'm done here. There we go. All right, now let's see. Who is... Oh, I'm going to save this one here for later. Um, this one is from Arlene. Um, I actually tore this open. It was kind of hard to get into. But she sent me a lovely little card. Look how pretty that is. Let me see what we got in here. Oh, thank you so much. And she loves little sweet pea. Most people do. I've had a few people that are not a fan of the sweet pea in my videos. But that's why I'm just going to try to keep him in the end of my Dollar Tree hauls. Because I know it's very hard to concentrate on things when he's running all over the place. But I will still bring him on so everybody that loves him can see him. But she sent me some of these wonderful stickers from Dollar Tree. Look how pretty these are. I'm going to them apart here so you can see them. Oh, look at that's really pretty. Gorgeous stickers. I'll tell you, Dollar Tree has some really, really nice stickers. Oh, look at the parrots, and she sent me all a bird theme. I love the parrots down there. And then she sent me this one. It has this huge parrot on there. I would love to have a huge parrot like that, but you know what? They're just way too big for me. Their beaks are bigger than my fingers. I couldn't handle them. <laughs> but thank you so much. That was so sweet of you to send me all these pretty stickers with the birds and things and this beautiful card. I'm going to stick that right back in there. So thank you again, Arlene. That was so sweet of you. Love it. And they will go to good use. Now let's see. Who is this here? Um, i got to get the card out because I don't know the outside. Oh, this is from Debbie. Um, oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Debbie. There's so this pretty little note inside of this really pretty paper. I love that. And, okay, I did not give away your address. I thought I did here on this paper, but it's not. And let's see. Um, oh, these came from Canada. Oh, look at that. I was just trying to figure out the label on here. Cool. Oh, look at these pretty little flower stickers. Those are nice. They're like on the pop kind of dots there. Oh, those are very pretty. Thank you. Oh, and look at these butterflies. Oh, these are from Dollarama. 
So you guys have some really nice things in Dollarama too. I get very jealous sometimes when I watch those hauls. But look how pretty those butterflies are. Thank you so much, Debbie. That was so sweet of you to send me these. All right, let me stick these back in here so I don't forget what's from what because I will if I don't. And then this one here is from... Hang on, let me get the card out. All right, let me make sure I'm pronouncing this right. Odhild? Odhild? I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's A-U-D-H-I-L-D. Odhild. I'm probably butchering it. I am terrible with names. She is from Norway. That is very exciting. And she sent me these really nice cards here that you can make and stamp and things. And then they each have a little, little um, like a Christmas, you know, cardinal on there that would be beautiful to make a card with. Thank you so much. That's so nice. And then this one, oh my god, I am so sorry about butchering your name. I feel awful. I am just terrible with names. Especially if it's one that's not familiar. Oh, look how pretty this one is with the cardinals and the little birdhouse. Well, that'll be a lot of fun to do something with. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you to send it all that way. Um, yeah, I just don't, I'm just terrible with names. Adild. Is it Adild? I don't want to say it wrong again. But thank you so much. <laughs> oh. So you're going to have to, like, you know, spell it out and... I can pronounce things if I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's move on here. Um, I'm sure there's a card in here. Let me look. Let me look. Here we go. All right. I get this pretty little card here that was handmade. I love handmade cards. They're my favorite. Um, this is from Lynn uh, from Montana. Oh, look how pretty. She even decorated it so pretty on the inside. Um, oh, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, she's another sweet pea lover, so there you go. <laughs> oh, she used to have a canary. I love canaries. Oh, with that same name. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, thank you so much for sending me these things. Let's check these out. These are some really pretty napkins, too. Man, I've got to get to decoupaging. Look at these pretty fall napkins with the basket and the pumpkins. I don't know where everybody finds all these napkins. I mean, I found a lot um, in my grocery stores or at the Christmas tree shop. You can find a lot of pretty napkins, too, sometimes. Or if you go on Etsy, you can order like one or two napkins so you don't have to buy a whole pack to decoupage with. You know, and it's pretty inexpensive that way too. Or, you know, you can find some on Amazon too if you're lucky. But these are gorgeous napkins. And look at this little um, coaster here. It's got the cork on the back. Look how pretty that is. I would definitely not set a drink on that. It's too pretty. And here we have, oh, she sent me a bunch of these with the beautiful cardinals on them. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these here with some more pretty birds. So pretty. Oh, this is different. I've never seen any of them like this before. <gasps> oh, and guess what's behind that? Look how pretty this is. Oh, I love those. And look, here's some more of the truck. These beautiful blue trucks. I don't know where you guys found these. You're going to have to let me know so when I decoupage with them, I can tell people where they can find them. Because these are really, really nice. And here's some with the fall leaves. And more I love the fall leaves. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at these napkins. It almost looked like a book. Wicked Witch Company. A bubbling Brew. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you. And look at these really big leaves. Oh, and look at these Christmas ones. These are really cute. I love this kind of napkin where you can take, you know, each individual image out nice and put them on something small. 
I'm always looking for little images like this. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you, Lynn. I absolutely love them all. Now, what did I do? Oh, here it is. I almost lost my little, um, my little card here already. All right, let me slip those back in there. Thank you again. Those are some beautiful napkins. All right, let's set them here. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, I have one more, and this one comes from Winona. She is from Louisiana, and she had made me something beautiful before. I'm sure you guys remember seeing that beautiful um, picture that she had made me with the paper quilling. She does gorgeous work. Look at this card that's all little teeny-weeny pieces of paper in there. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I just don't even know if I could do that. And yes, I love Christmas ornaments in August. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Winona. You guys are not going to believe this when I show you these. She made me these ornaments of all my birds. I don't even know if I want to hang these on my tree and take the chance of something happening to them, or if I'm just going to put them in a frame to go with the other one that she made me of sweet tea. Look at this. This would be my Indian ringneck, Cooper, and she put all their names on the back there. Look how pretty. That is just amazing. Look at all those teeny tiny papers. That is just so cool. So there is Cooper. I'm going to put them right back in this bag because I don't want nothing to happen to them. And then here we have my little Smokey, my African Gray. Look at that. Oh, and his little red tail. These are absolutely gorgeous. Ugh, and I can't believe that's just rolled up little pieces of paper. That just blows my mind. You are so talented at doing this. And here is my Charlie boy, my double yellowhead Amazon. Look at that. And she put his name on the back for Charlie. Ugh, oh, these are just absolutely gorgeous. I love these so much. And I definitely think I am just going to put these all in a frame so I can keep them out in the bird room and hang it up so everybody can see these whenever. And I won't have to worry about anything happening. Oh, and you guys know this guy right here. Here's Sweet Pea. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is so awesome. I just can't believe how you do that. It is just, it just amazes me. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then we have, and anybody who doesn't know my little sweet pea, he's a um, white-bellied kaiik. And now here's one for Ruby. And Ruby is a rose-breasted cockatoo, or a galah, depending on where you're from. But I believe in Australia they call them galahs. But look at that. So pretty. And she's even got the different shades of pink like Ruby has. Oh my goodness, that is just amazing. And then here, if I don't know, you probably can hear her in the background screaming right now. But it's getting closer to dinner time and bedtime, she starts yelling. My little Rosie! And she's a sun conure. Isn't that amazing? Look how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I will treasure these little guys. They, yeah, I am definitely, I definitely, definitely want to frame these. And I'll show them to you if I get to it here anytime soon. But I don't want anything to happen. I'm afraid if my cat or something knocks these off my tree. I uh, these don't know. So I would definitely do something with those because those are absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, all you lovely ladies. That was just so sweet of you guys to think of me and send me things. Um, so I just wanted to give a big thank you to everybody and show everybody all these amazing gifts that I received this week. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everybody.